Lord over everything. He's Lord over our circumstances. And tonight, we are able to stand in his presence. At this time, can we just close our eyes and acknowledge God as the King of Kings? Can we just consecrate ourselves before the Lord as we look to him in prayer? Father, we bless you. We thank you tonight, God. Indeed, you are a great God. Father, we worship you. There is none like unto you. We honor you. We lift you up. We come to give you worship tonight, God. And so as we give you worship tonight, we pray, God, that you will allow us, O oh God, to let go of all the cares, the burdens of this world, and just worship you tonight. And, oh God, as we worship God, send down your blessing. Send an anointing on us tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Remain standing. We are going to put our hands together. We just do one or two lively choruses. Since you know the Lord is keeping you, why worry or doubt? Since you know the Lord is keeping you, why don't you sing and shout? Glory, hallelujah, praise his name. Every day is just the same. Since you know the Lord.
what you think about Jesus He's alright What you think about Jesus He's alright What you think about Jesus He's alright He's alright 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 When I think of the goodness of Jesus And what He has done for me moderator comes we are going to do this final one we're taking it slow and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me i am his
praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. It's a blessed evening to be here. Thank you, Father. And as the praise and worship team took us down with He Walks With Me, what a pleasure it is sometimes just to be walking and to be talking with the Savior. Because as we walk with him and we talk with him, we develop a good, good, reasonable, a perfect relationship with him. And that's what he wants of us, you know, that relationship, that relationship to be with him. So as we come to another night to enjoy and to worship and to praise God. This is a, how many night? Fourth night of a great feast. And we know how good it is going to be as we fellowship in this feast of togetherness, of worshiping and praising God. Let me say thanks to the Sendeka Tabernacle praise and worship team for taking us thus far. So at this time we are going to sing um, a hymn. I don't know what you put then. Okay, I had us to search for which hymn it was here. It was numbered. Okay, so it's going to be number seven from our song sheets. Going to have the musician take us there. And the praise and worship team is going to lead us off with the... I've heard a whole old story. How the Savior came from glory. How he gave his life in Calvary to save a wretch like me. I heard an old, old story How a Savior came from glory How he gave his life on Calvary To save a wretch like me I heard about his story Of his precious love that I told him Then I repented of my sins And won the victory Let's have the chorus again! Oh, 
age it is that he redeem us from the fall with his redeeming blood the blood of beasts goats and other animals could not do it but the ethicus blood of jesus that's the only thing that could pay for our redemption i'm going to lay hand on somebody suddenly but i know that they are capable so i'm going to ask this a joy to come and give us the evening prayer it's a joy Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. We exalt you. We bless you. Hallelujah. We praise you, mighty God. We magnify your great name because, mighty God, you are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. And there is none like you tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. None can touch my heart like you do. And so mighty God, we just want to tell you that we love you. Thank Hallelujah. You. Praise God. We bless your name for who you are. Thank you, God, that you change it not. Neither is there any searching of your understanding. Because mighty God, you are the great I am hallelujah and god you deserve the worship you deserve the glory mighty god you deserve the praise lord we thank you for another night like this that we can be together as one lord we thank you praise god we thank you mighty god that you have kept us true today hallelujah and god we give you the praise we thank you lord god for souls that you have been saving for your kingdom lord we thank you god you know the reason for this crusade glory to god and so father god we just want to continue to place it into your hand glory to god we ask mighty god for your blessing hallelujah god we ask for your leading mighty god we realize god that we can do nothing of ourselves without you mighty god we are failure but we thank you, God, that we serve a God, one who can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. So tonight, mighty God, we commit this meeting into your hand. God, we pray for the moderator, the one who stands. God, we pray for your anointing. Glory to God. We pray for the word. Hallelujah. We pray for the anointing upon the one who is going to give the word. Mighty God. We pray, God, that your word will go forth with clarity. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And to touch the heart of those who do not know you. God, we thank you that you care. And because you care this afternoon, Lord, that is why we are here. Thank you, mighty God, that you do not deal with us according to our iniquity. But mighty God, you grant us favor. And so tonight, Lord, we are asking for favor upon this meeting god we ask that you will bless your people bless the word and continue to lead for us as we tell you thanks in jesus name thanks sister joy i know that she's capable and able thanks to god for soldiers in the army this evening's scripture reading comes to us from the book of Isaiah. And we're going to read Isaiah chapter 52, verse 1 to verse 7. Look it up in your Bible. We're going to be reading responsive reading. Isaiah 52, are we there? Verse 1, awake, awake, put on the strength, O Zion, 
Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised or the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust. Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of the neck, O captive daughter of Zion. For thus saith the Lord, ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. Hallelujah. For, For thus saith the Lord God, God my, my people went down aforetime into Egypt to sojourn there, and the Assyrian oppressed them without cause. Now therefore, what have I here, saith the Lord, that my people is taken away for north? They that rule over them shall make them to howl, saith the Lord, and my name continually Every day is blasphemed. Therefore, Therefore my people shall, shall know my name. Therefore they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak. Behold, Behold it, it is I. I. How beautiful upon the, upon the mountains, mountains are the feet of them that bring good tidings, that, that publish peace, that bring it good tidings of good, that, that publish it salvation, that, that set unto thine thy God reigneth. Here endeth the reading of a portion of God's word. We say thanks be to God. At this time, we're going to have the song, As I Travel Through This Pilgrim Land. And I... Uh, it'll be number five in your song sheets. Again, As I travel through this pilgrim land, there is a friend who walks with me. Lead me safely through the sinking sun. It is the Christ of Calvary. This would be my prayer, dear Lord, each day to help me do the best I can. For I need a Hold my hand. Hold my hand. Lord, I need every hour. 
Jesus holds my hand. At this time, Pastor McFarlane will come and give the welcome. Blessed Jesus, old man, and me the Praise the Lord. Blessed Jesus. Hold my hand. Hold my hand. This is a plea we, we are making. Because we need him every hour. And we need him to carry us through. The dangers. The slippery roads. The unpredictions. But when we go through with him. We have nothing to be worried about. So let us just stretch forth our hands to him and he will lead us through. Praise God. Praise God. Shall we just lift our hands and give God praise tonight? Hallelujah. 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 Praise, praise the Lord. God. Hallelujah. It is him. In him we live and move and have our beings. Our existence is solely in him outside of him we are nothing we are aimless in our journey but we i'm glad we are able to say in him i know where i am going i know because of he leading us. Good night, brothers and sisters and friends, viewers, whoever you are, wherever you are, good night, good night, good night. Bless the name of Jesus. We thank him for another opportunity, another of his blessing to have allowed us to be alive and especially in this fashion, a tent crusade the fourth night put our hands together for the lord indeed he continues to be merciful and gracious and here we are tonight again our mission 
is to exhort somebody, to herald to somebody, arise Amen. and repent. All that is happening, there is the possibility for somebody to arise from your fall. Arise from your failure. Arise out of your mess and turn to Jesus. That's what it means to repent, to turn to him. So I welcome every brother, every sister, every visitor here in the house of the Lord. It's so good to see you tonight. Um, God bless you. God keep you. And all our viewers viewing us on Facebook and YouTube, we are so happy to have you. Put your hands together for our streamers. They are very much a part of us. Yes, the blessings of the Lord, they are with us from the start and they will be to the finishing. So continue to worship the Lord in your own space. God is good. We also want to welcome our visiting brethren from the different churches tonight. We want to welcome you. We should have at least one or two visiting church tonight. I'm not seeing um, um, New Covenant Faith Outreach. Are you here? Right? So, they are not. They are not. So, um, so we, we are here and we're not alone because the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit is here. So, others of you, you are from another church, other churches, we welcome you god bless you i see our brethren from the um zion episcopal and um, please stand we want to specially welcome you welcome our brethren and so on arrived praise god not the official official night but they are come because i mean they want to get the blessings of the lord you're in the presence of the lord you are here also from another another church or but i'm going to welcome you Good to have you. Praise God. All right. He told us it's Sunday night church. Canada church. Praise God. So he's here tonight. All right. Any other church for, in this room? Just stand and tell, tell us which church you represent. Praise God. Praise God. Don't stone back this church. Bless God. Any other from this side? Praise God, Rosetta. All right. Further down. Brownstown City Mission. Praise God. That's it from this side? All right, what about here? All right. Over this side. Further down. I say that, let me hear you. Gasco. Sister Rose. Praise God. Universal Church of God. Praise God. Another church, any other? Mount Beulah Apostolic. Praise God. Good to have you. Bless the Lord. Any other? Right. Blood bought. Praise God, Church of God. Praise God. Any other? Right. Say, Deka Tabernacle, put your hands together. Praise God. Praise God. So we have. Oh, my goodly sister, oh. <laughs> Pastor Jean Walters, put your hands together for her. Praise God, praise God. She's here and she's also preparing for her convention starting Sunday coming, right, into Wednesday, right? So we must be with you. We may not be able to be in the night season, but God also gives us the daytime. The day season, so we shall be with you, supporting you, worshiping with you. So we welcome you also, and your sister also from the Gospel Foundation to your prayer mother, as you said. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Praise God. And also we want to welcome our preacher um, in the person of um, Brother Jeremy. David, pray, put your hands together for the preacher. Praise God. Praise God. So God bless you. Praise God. I'm going to ask the, um, the praise and worship team to come again and lead us into a time of praise and worship. And we're going to get open testimonies, right? 
um brother grant i'm going to ask you to come and give us your 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 testimony um um praise god as a the as you feel i'm not going to call a church just come 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 give us let, let, let us see if we can go six good testimony nice testimonies praise god as we move along praise the lord tell it my brother wherever you go someone would like to hear the glad news you know tell him that my savior died to save my soul from sin tell it wherever you go We worship the Lord. We worship the Lord. We worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wave your hands and worship the Lord. The Lord has done things on me. Wave your hands and worship the Lord, brethren. Bless the Lord. God is good. And we are here tonight in his presence to lift up and to magnify the name of the Lord. Had it not been for his grace, had it not been for his mercy, we would not have been here. So you come for our reasons to worship the Lord as you come tonight and glorify him in the beauty of holiness. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. I must give first glance to the Spirit of God, the head of my life. The reason I'm here tonight is to just to tell the world that I am saved, I am born again, and I'm no longer in sin. Praise God. And, and I'm standing on the solid rock, which is Christ Jesus. So pray for me in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, church. I too have a testimony. I just thank the Lord for all what he has done for me. I feel so good in myself that I'm in the house of God to worship, to praise him, to sing my songs of joy. You know what the Lord has done for me, whereof I'm glad. Brethren, if you're out there and do not know the Lord, I'm just inviting you to come along to just worship the Lord, get saved, get baptized, and do the right thing for the Lord. The Lord will just fix you up. You saw the Lord fix me up. The Lord fix me up. We are if I am glad. This is my testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Born, born, born again. Thank God I'm born again. times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth so let us magnify the Lord with, with, with me hallelujah I give God the glory tonight that I'm, I'm alive 
and I am well in spite of age and pain. But I'm still going for God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I am not afraid of this gospel because it's the power of God unto salvation. And if there is a sinner tonight here, there is a savior. And if there is anyone that is backslidden from the presence of the Lord, he will put on a new ring, a new coat, and a new shoes on your feet. Come taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. You pray for me. In Jesus' name. Let me your God's children praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm going to sing a song for my testimony. <clears throat> Empty and broken, I came back to you, a vessel so unworthy and so scarred with sin, but he did not dismay, he started over.
wonderful great testimony powerful testimony all because he never showed this clay away and that is why we are who we are now he could have just gave up on us threw us at the back door and put us at the back and say you give too much trouble you give too much trouble you mess up too much time let me deal with the others who seem to be perfect and more refined than you but he doesn't do that he works with us and this is us tonight we're now at this juncture to take the special crusade offering tonight you are told and I trust that you're ready to give amen ready to give your crusade offering have you carried your envelopes and if you need envelopes then you should be able to get some more and so even if you don't have an envelope this evening you don't have an envelope but you have your offering that's good Praise God. And so we are going to um, have the ushers to collect that special offering. And uh, Sister Jenny, please bring me an envelope. I see you have envelopes there. So for our viewers, so that our viewers know what I'm saying. Sister Jenny, please bring me an envelope. So for our viewers, this is the envelope. And so we are asking you to put your offering in your envelope and post it to the ministry of the St. Dacre Tabernacle Crusade Ministry. I know that God has been ministering to you in your own space, in your own room wherever you are there are those of you who may have been healed and received salvation whatever it is you're as much as you are very much a part of us we want to make provide you with the opportunity to give so that you will continue to receive from the lord and so i'm going to ask us to stand we're going to pray even if you don't have your envelope stand you don't have the envelope, but you have the mind to give. You're listening to us. You're watching us. Stand and purpose in your heart to just give. God will find a way for you to reach to the ministry, the crusade ministry. As long as there is a will, there is a way. So just purpose in your heart what you're going to give hallelujah praise god let us bow our heads almighty god and our father we glorify you we exalt you we thank you also for the opportunity that you have made possible for us to give you have been giving to us from the day we came into this world you have been given and you gave us so much and god and expect so little and so god here is the opportunity for your people your unmade to give back as we purpose in our hearts lord to give i pray your blessings over us there are those god e Though while they are purposing in their heart, they don't even see the money. They don't see the gift. But they have made a pledge. You're going to God. Make provision in their lives. You're going to make miracle work in their lives. 
you're going to allow for breakthrough in their lives so that they will give to the cause. Others of us, God, we are now going to about to give to you. We pray your blessings. God, you'll continue to increase us, establish us. So in the name of the Father, the Son and of the Holy Spirit, we present our gifts to you for your glory. Amen. 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 I'll say of the Lord, He is my refuge. In Him will I put all of my trust. He's taking me daily from glory to glory. In Him will I trust. In Him will I trust. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in hope. to make the Lord our trust and this is what we are saying to somebody trust in God you may have a lot of chariots are you trusting in your chariots I don't know what those chariots are but you are trusting in those chariots the best to trust in is God because those chariots will fail but our God never never fails 
Hallelujah. It's time now to hear from God's servant. He was already welcomed. And so I just want to give you an introduction of God's servant and getting ourselves out of the way. Thank you, Pastor Folks, for having led so well. The Lord continue to bless you, sir. Bless you, bless you. So biography of the Reverend Jeremy Davy. He baptized for over 31 years. After that, he has been pastoring for over 26 years. Reverend Jeremy is also an author and recording artist. You notice I don't have any ministry in song before him before he comes because he is he has a complete package. Praise God. Founding director of the Praise Power Ministries. Traveling conference speaker and evangelist locally and overseas. Reverend Davy, truly saved, santified, Holy Ghost filled. Very passionate evangelist with the motto, impacting lives one person at a time. One person at a time. Brothers and sisters, put your hands together and welcome the man of God, the Reverend Jeremy Davy. I'm going to ask you, brother, brother, Jaron, to set up this mic very well. This one, this will be the preacher's mic. It is sounding good, but if you can improve it, then please do. I kind of love the sound of that since the voice has been going non-stop. It's good to have some sound. Well, church, can we give the Lord a praise? Church of God, let's lift up the name of our Lord and Savior. Church of God, let's exalt our King. Let's give Him glory tonight. Come on, church, we're here to lift Him up. Come on, can the church open up your mouth and praise your God? Come on, open up your mouth and praise your God. Come on, lift up a praise to your God. Give him the glory and the honor. Give him the glory and the honor. Hallelujah. He deserves the praise. I said he deserves all the praise. Somebody still ain't get that yet. Because I guess if you understand what it means when we say God deserves the praise, then nobody could stop what comes out of your mouth next. It's David that says, If it had not been for the Lord on my side. <laughs> I don't know, but the last time I checked, I don't think I'm sitting among any ungrateful persons in here. I believe there are some people who are grateful to God that he take you out. He took you out of something that could have killed you. He took you out of a something that could have messed your life up. He saved you. He delivered you and he set you free. Therefore, I don't know about you, but I have no other choice but to give him glory, to give him the honor and to give him praise god bless you hallelujah pastor said singing i don't know how far we are gonna go with that let's see what happens if it don't happen tonight it'll happen another night i still have to try to get this together but we'll see where we go but it's good to be here for the first time <laughs> i drive past here all the time and never stopped but God knows how to pull you at the right place. Amen, somebody. 
and so god bless you again man of god thank you for trusting me enough to have me here i always say it's only a crazy person who would want somebody like me to preach the word of god in a time when people seem to want to preach to make people comfortable I, I realize we are living in a time where people don't want to hear the truth of God. We don't want to hear the word of God. People seem to want to hear about how much God can give them, how much blessing God can give them, how God can fill up the pocket. Come on with me, somebody. People want to hear how much they can get from God. They don't want to hear that the wages of sin is... Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to find out if I'm at the right place hallelujah so I'm grateful to be here tonight and to the leaders of this church pastor God bless you too or to all the leaders of this church and the other churches all the other pastors everybody God bless you hallelujah others would have been here my wife would have been here she can't make it at this moment uh, but I know she's online love you honey I know you're praying for me praise God I am going to go straight into the word and we want to see where God is going from here I, I, I love the theme arise and repent and so I want to go to the book of Acts chapter 4 Acts chapter 4 I believe that's the assignment God has for me for here tonight Acts chapter number four if you can give me a little bit more on this mic i would be the most happiest just a little more volume save my voice please acts chapter four okay this sounds like i can work with it acts chapter four and verse five want to start from verse five when you find it shout amen verse 5 says and it came to pass on the morrow that their rulers and elders and scribes and annas the high priest and caiaphas and john and alexander and as many as were of the kindred of the high priest were gathered together at jerusalem and when they had set them talking about peter and john when they had set them in the midst they asked by what power or by what name have he done this talking about the miracle in acts chapter 3 verse 8 says then peter filled with the holy ghost said unto them Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deeds done to the impotent man, by what means he is made whole, be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of of Jesus Christ can somebody shout the name tonight come on church of God let me hear you shout the name Jesus. so by at the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth whom he crucified whom God raised from the dead even by him doth this man stand here before you whole this is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which is become the head of the corner. I stop at verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby he must be saved father the truth be told is that nothing can happen without you therefore god i need you to help me preach i need you to help me declare what you want for tonight 
deliver somebody set somebody free restore save whatever you choose to do god it is well done and it is for your honor and for your glory thank you that hell is already is already destroyed and you be lifted up in this place we speak to every element that the enemy sets up concerning this place we declare a hundred yard hedge a wall of fire around this place let nothing leave without your transforming power affecting it god block every unforeseen circumstance entering tonight and we thank you that your word will go forth with clarity and with power and the church say amen i want to preach on this simple topic tonight it's in the name of jesus it's in the name of jesus my brothers and sisters there is a situation in existence in these days where there is a warfare regarding authority people seem to want to put their names out there they want the sound of their name to have relevance in the development of others it appears that it is no longer about the character or the natural actions of the person but it seems to be just about having a name when folks hear a name even if the one hearing the name have never met or seen the named person there is the tendency to stop what you're doing make every necessary preparation to gain an audience with the person because that name seemed to have a high value placed on it you realize that many times certain people step into a location and because of who people think they are people have a tendency to drop everything because they believe just shaking their hands can change their life just just being around them can affect them and people seem to be affected by a name I'm, I'm, I'm going to preach in a minute stick with me because of this people of God a spirit of idolatry have entered and for the purpose of bringing this message across idolatry my brothers and sisters it is the worship of something or someone other than the god of abraham isaac and jacob as though it were a god worship by definition is the acknowledging that god is the king he is the ruler over our life often demonstrated in a physical or spiritual event by the bending of the knee the lifting of the hand the prostrating of oneself or the lauding of your words it is the attitude of valuing one in more higher position than yourself so when one worship or when one gets involved in idolatry they are basically placing greater value on something or someone rather than themselves or better yet you're bringing yourself lower than who you choose to value people of god we live in a time where idolatry is rampant we, we were living a time, whether we believe it or not, it has now dominated the world. From the entertainers to the government leaders, from gang leaders, even to some rebellious 
rebellious and some religious leaders the focus seemed to be about me and my abilities and what I have instead of God getting the glory are you here with me somebody ah oh, God almighty it is so strong even in the church that great emphasis is placed on the titles and the credentials to your name so much so that if an introduction is given without the credentials missing people tend to get upset because it seems that your value is in the credential than the character that makes the man Am I, are you here with me somebody oh god almighty we have seen these days that the world is affected because people seem to want their credentials uh, more than the anointing of God. The church, can I start from there? I don't want to stay too much in the church, but I want to set up a platform because the people of God, uh, the people in the world, they are waiting to experience something of a different level than the church. But unfortunately, the church have sacrificed the anointing for some titles. The church have sacrificed the preaching of the gospel for some entertainment. You're not saying anything to me in here. People want to hear a name brand preacher instead of somebody with the real word of God. Talk to me when you check it out today. All you need for this tent to be filled is for pastor to advertise that a name brand prophet a specialized person a specialist demon chaser is turning up because we are more about the name than the character we are more about being the, in the presence of something that look good instead of being in the presence of almighty God can I find five person in this place that can join me and say I rather to be in the presence of God that mm. oh. Uh, can I can I preach it like I feel it because uh, things are missing from the church why why is it people not coming to church we have compromised the power of God we don't preach salvation anymore we preach motivational now we don't tell people about sin anymore we preach things that can satisfy them to make them feel just come in church just live how you want outside and come into church rub your head and everything gonna be all right we don't talk about the power of the holy ghost anymore we don't talk about the consuming fire anymore we don't talk about the cleansing power of the blood of jesus when the church begin to preach the blood of jesus people run out them said the church is spooky we don't want to hear nothing like that but can I find two person in here that can say thank God for my grandmother who lay hands on me and plead the blood of Jesus over my life can I find somebody that said had it not been for a mama who knelt down and plea and pray the name of Jesus had it not been Oh God Almighty, can I can I ask you to do a favor? Can I touch you? Can I ask you to touch your neighbor and shake them real good and say thank God for the blood of Jesus? Oh God, can you ask your neighbor, whatever you have in your life, do you want a change right now? Just begin to plead the blood. As a matter of fact, I double dare somebody, take 30 seconds and begin to plead the blood of Jesus in the atmosphere of... We don't want to hear truth again. We 
want our emotion to be satisfied with a war conviction again. We swap crusade for convention. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh, it's my first time here. I say we swap soul winning for believers conference because we know our preach salvation. Maybe because them know we character in a right. Somebody show the blood of Jesus. Rev, I'll be one of the first pastors to tell people like this. We pray for revival and we say we are beg for revival. And some of we listen to some prophets that says revival coming then soon and this soon. But the truth be told, the only way revival going to touch this place is Second Chronicles 7 verse 14. If my people who are called by my name, well, let me go, let me preach, man, will humble themselves and them pray and see God fears and turn how oh, you shout expecting revival and there is no humility how oh, you expect revival and your prior life is absent how oh, you expect revival and at the same time your life is not intact we don't want a 19 again we want title Good God from Zion, help me and preach. Can I preach it for a few minutes? No, let me preach, no man. We know our anointing again. As soon as somebody get touched with the anointing, by the time they make a speech two, three times, we call, we, we call them down because we know why the anointing going to talk to me, no man. But I believe we're heading back to the days when the anointing begin to take lead. Somebody lift your hand and say, God, I need the anointing again. Me tired of gimmicks now. Talk to me now somebody. I said me tired of gimmicks now. And the world tired of gimmicks. When the world come to the church. The world no want to hear gimmicks. The world want to hear the gospel. The world want to hear the life. The death. The burial. The resurrection. The second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. The world no want to hear how much care you have. The world no want to hear how much house you have. The world no want to hear how much promotion you have. The world want to hear that. God saves, that God keeps, that God satisfies, that God is our daily. I brought my notes because it's my first time here and I'm trying to stay. Somebody better plead the blood. Somebody better plead the blood. Me never come tonight to play around with this thing. A time the church wake up. A time the community realize the church they are. A time the community know that them have a place where them can run to when them need deliverance. A time the people know say if things are going bad in them life, them not for run God obey a man again. Them run come to the church for the name of the Lord is a strong tower, not obey a man yard. But the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in and they are saved. Can I be real up in this place? People got up your man yard when nothing are going in at the church, but when fire are going in at the church, when anointing are going in at the church, up your man can't do nothing because the power of God is alive and well in the church of God. Can somebody shout, I need the anointing, I need the power of God, I need the glory of God in the church again? Say it. Yeah. Let me 
let me take my time with this because I'm sorry I can't go back to the, the, the notes yet but idolatry has caused a problem the people just see peer people in a church a fight for position I yes. still a deal with that you know me I soon come after that give me two more minutes on that but I could deal with that position everybody want on pastor everybody want on prophet everybody want on head intercessor everybody want a big position not because they are called for it but them feel that if them have a big name them feel more important let me tell you something being a pastor you know means that you're more important being a prophet no means that you're more special being an intercessor no means that you're more special talk to me church of god being a prophet or being a pastor or being an intercessor mean the devil will come after you harder talk to me church of god we are no pastor for style we not take the title for style we not take the title for show off talk to me no somebody that's why we don't have the time for fight with position if you get the position bless the lord forevermore if you get the pastor bless the lord forevermore if you're singing at the choir bless the lord forevermore we don't have time for fight over this because everything we're doing at the church whether you're pastor or you're deacon or you clean the bathroom the only thing that matters is that whatever you do on the god i go get the glory say yes say yes Can I be real in here tonight? Pastor, the reason why people fight for position is because they want little identity. They want little, they know what somebody to make them feel important. If they were concerned about God getting the glory, all when pastor now do right, they may go pray and ask God to fix him. But because we want the attention. Somebody shout, Uncle God, forget the glory. Now, let me back up a little bit. Sit down. Back up a little bit because we read from Acts chapter 4. But really, this thing starts from we're in the book of Luke because the truth be told. The man that Acts chapter 4 or Acts chapter 3 or Acts chapter 2 focused on was somebody, if I had the choice, he would never have become a pastor. I truth me attack. Because some of you know if, if it was an election, you would never want Peter in a position. Wanna talk to me now? Cause me no, me no know like you, but me no want a chatterbox for me leader. Oh oh! You watch too much cartoon. But pastor, Jesus look past Peter mouth. Look past Peter's mistake. And he realized that behind all the mistakes, the best person to lead the church is Peter. Because God don't just look at what you say. He looks at what is on. Can I talk to somebody who is, who, is not, who is not a Christian right here for the first point? Let me help you to understand. When it comes to salvation, God ain't concerned about what you do. On Sunday night, I was in Montego Bay and I said to the church, the truth be told is that when, God, when Jesus stepped down in John chapter 5 and talked to the lame man, until now Jesus no asked him, I want to make you did sick. Jesus just come up and ask, you want to get better? God 
God ain't concerned about how messed up you were. Because no for we will hold the mic or if God did for really tell you how we did tan. Allah come me. Pastor, we never tan good enough. I try, me, I try, me, I try to behave myself. No, me no want, me no want, me, me no want get out of character, but I like a me. Because the truth is, some way that we sit down here so look so nice and try to make people look like so we did burn with gold spoon in our mouth. That's why we have a tendency to condemn people all the time. Oh no, nah, talk to me up in here. People want to get saved and come to church, but because we know a little fault about them, we we will hold on upon it. Oh 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 oh! And the truth is, the reason why we hold on upon it is because them remind we of where we are come. So Jesus, after the resurrection. He showed himself to the disciples. And I kind of like that. Because he said to them, he said to, he said to the women, Go tell my disciples and... He never said tell the disciples and Thomas. Tell the disciples and Peter. Remember, sir? The story around the crucifixion, you know. The two people in the church, that was really the problem. People, you know. One the dead. The only one left was Peter. So God knows, say, Peter never did all of that. But God's mercy reaches beyond what he knows about you. And reach down into the soul of that individual to let you know that yes yesterday you was a gambler but today I ain't see gambling upon you I see somebody with divine purpose and that's why I'm calling your name specifically He said, tell my disciples and Peter. And so fast forward to Acts chapter 2. They were in the upper room and the fire of God came down. The Holy Ghost come and fill everybody. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. With the evidence of speaking in tongues. And then some people out the door hear something they never understand pastor what the language was because them not expect unlearned people like peter speaking brazilian speaking ethiopian them not expect that but the bible again said peter stood up with boldness he begin to proclaim the name of the Lord. For somebody who is wondering why I'm not preaching a crusade message, you're late. I have been preaching that. Stay tuned. He preached the gospel to them. He preached crucifixion to them. He told them about the fact that Jesus died on the cross for their sins. And when he preached that message with the anointing of God. The Bible said 5,000 got saved in one message. When you think that was over. Here comes Acts chapter 3. The Bible said he was going to church. There was a man at the gate, beautiful, 
for 38 years he's been going to church for 38 years but they have not brought him into the church the bible said they left him at the gate of the church while they went in to worship they put him at the gate pastor and they left him to worship then they come out of worship take him up back from the gate and bring him back home that's the problem with some people because we condemn people's wrong so much that even when they want to change we don't offer change to them because we know if they are changed maybe they will grow past us so we prefer to keep them in that position Position so that we can look good I promise you I didn't plan to preach like this tonight but I hear the Holy Ghost sending me down there and the Bible said them left him at the gate but when you under the anointing of God Peter and John were under the anointing of God they understand the anointing is not just speaking in tongues some people want the anointing just for Shandai and Shandai uh, and tie them bow tie that's the oh, that's the only thing some people care about the world must hear tongues come out of your mouth that's all they want concern about but Peter was under the anointing he wasn't concerned about tongues he was concerned about souls and on his way to go into the church him find the man there 38 years church are gone but no anointing not did it 38 years people are gonna worship but no power no in there say yes 38 years people are gonna church they must sing the song of Zion but no power no in there 38 years they must read the holy scripture but there was no power 38 years this thing are gone but Peter stop at the church door look at the man and realize that this reason why God anoint me to preach the gospel for the spirit of the Lord God is upon me to preach good tidings to the meek to open prison doors to set the captive free somebody say yes Yes, him look upon the man at the gate. Him the man stretch out him hand because when you're the church and no anointing no did you start fake it. Him stretch out him hand because when you're the church and you don't have no anointing, you depend upon somebody else's prayer. You depend upon somebody else's experience. You depend upon somebody else. Hallelujah. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, get your own hallelujah. Say, neighbor, get your own glory to God. Say, neighbor, get your own word. You're not for wait, Pam Pastor, to prophesy a word. Take up the Bible. Go down in a fasting and prayer. God must give you a word. The Bible says, stretch out him hand. He may wait upon a word. But while he may wait upon a word, Peter looked upon him and said, Listen to me, me no have what you want, but since you want something, me I go give you something. Him said, What I have is your deliverance, what I have is your healing, what I have is your breakthrough. Thank you very much. Peter said, Listen to me, let me give you what me have in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth right 
rise somebody say rise up rise up rise up I come to tell send the cast tonight God say rise up God say you sit down too long rise up God say you quiet too long rise up God say you powerless too long rise up God say you not live right enough rise up the Bible said the man 38 years people have to carry him but after that experience nobody can carry him again Let me. So now, in getting healing, and people still have problem. Oh Lord, in our beg no more, and people have problem. Let me help you to understand about friends. This is how you know your real friend, them ref. You see, when everything is... You see, some people, them love it when them can't come to you if you want pound of sugar. Yes. My God, that is true. Sure, not talk to me, no? Because every time them beg you a pound of sugar, it make you feel important. Because, because you have the spirit or the gift of gabbing, you have to always tell a neighbor... You know, say, Miss Mary never have no sugar. Yes. Well, you know, I'm a preacher, person. Yes. Because we always want somebody to know. So we are do something. But the day God changed your story. And you stop, beg, Miss Mary, for sugar. Them begs with you now. Yes. yes. All of a sudden, remember, you know, the same Miss Mary said to everybody, "Me, I pray that God bless you. And now God bless you. Yes. And change your story. Now you start tell people a which man Miss Mary fine. Yes. We now build them. Let me give you a joke because I know the church don't like this. Because some church have a problem with this. Make God ever bring one known homosexual into the church and deliver them and save them and put him for sit down side of summer we went through how in life did stay. I see how we behave. We still scan him because we are taught to put sin in bracket. But the name of Jesus is strong enough to change a homosexual to change a liar yeah. to change a gambler yeah. because the blood of Jesus Christ no have different category yeah. the Pharisees them have a problem so the man get better yeah. instead of thank God them decide 
how this year happened. Not even so much say how it happened, but why it happened pan this year, dear. Yeah. Because we want to tell Jesus when to deliver people. How to deliver people. Who you must deliver. I say it Sunday night and I say it, I mean I say it right yes again. My wife have this statement when called them Jesus secretary. God the world full enough Jesus secretary. Because them always have to advise who. And when it must happen. Per, I, I like the one, the personal assistant. So Jesus, pastor, can only heal who you recommend. Yes. Jesus can only save who you recommend. God saved the one because even though the one is lie, he not so bad. I know you may talk, you know. Thing not so bad, you can't take care of her, but like a she the one you pass redemption. And we don't realize that Jesus no see what you do, Jesus sees your tomorrow. He healed the man. People have a problem with the healing. But the Bible said Peter stood up. And he defended to the core. He said, this same Jesus who you crucified, this same Jesus gave me the power to speak so let me help you here there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby they must be saved somebody shout Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> in 1930 there was a man his name was Ras Tafari. He founded something called Rastafarianism. Everybody see him in that the religion, them worship him. Them call him a god because them see him as the eye eye. The highest of the high. But those who were old enough will remember. In Kumdong a Jamdong. And in tell all of them. Me no name God. No worship me. Me can't take your sin. Ungo God can't take your sin. Me worship the true and living God. Can I help somebody to understand this? I give you Jesus Christ. The only one that can save. The only one that delivers. The only one that set free. I don't care how much people call themselves God. There is only one supreme God. I don't care how much people call themselves king. There is only one king of kings and lord of lords. He is Jesus the Christ. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulders. And his name shall be called. Wonderful. Counselor. The mighty 
mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. I got five more minutes to preach. Let me preach Philippians chapter 3. For God have highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow of things in heaven and things in the earth and things beneath the earth and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God somebody call the name Jesus something happened when you call the name Jesus somebody call the name Jesus in Mark chapter 10 blind Bartimaeus sit down there everybody pass him all boat can help him him did blind but him realize Jesus Christ a pass the Bible say when him a pass he start call out Jesus can send the echoes call out Jesus the Bible say when him call Jesus them tell him shut up them tell him God can help you them say your condition gone too far but the more them talk him down and the more him shout the more them say you can't change and the more him shout help me church of God the more them say you can't make it shout some more touch your neighbor and say neighbor the more them write you off shout some more the more them condemn you Shout some more The more them put you down Shout some more The more them call you walkless Shout some more The more them say I stay sick Shout some more The more them say I go stay in a sin Shout some more Somebody help me shout Jesus Somebody help me Shout Jesus when you call the name Jesus, salvation must happen. When you call the name Jesus, deliverance must happen. I don't care what you have, Jesus can fix it. I don't care what sickness you have, Jesus can heal it. I don't care what is in name, where you are manifesting, Jesus can deliver. Somebody lift your hand and say, Jesus! Hell! No other name. Come on, touch your neighbor and say, No other name. I don't care how much other man them tell you figure. No other name. Bando Shire, I feel it, my help. I don't care how much bad them give you, no other name. Me and my Jesus. Me know I'm jumping a Sunday night message too quick, but tell us, but to tell your neighbor, no other blood, no other blood, no other. No other blood, no other blood. Uh -uh. We know our foul blood, no, 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 that can't help you. We know. We know one goat, no other blood. Come on, no man, talk to me, no man. We know one, no other blood. Just the blood of Jesus. Just the blood of Jesus. That's all. That's all. That's all. You don't have to spend no money upon that. Blood of Jesus. You don't have to go down the court. Go take out the ready cash. If you go up a St. Thomas. Because them do you something. Just begin to plead the blood. Somebody help me, no man. Help me, no man. Help me, no man. Help me plead the blood. Help me plead the blood. Somebody family under pressure. Just plead the blood. Somebody pressure. Somebody family in a shambles. Just being, just plead the 
blood, just bleed the blood, just bleed the blood. Send the blood in the house, send the blood in the family, send the blood in your bloodline, send the blood for your picnic. Somebody bleed the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Me not understand how we sit on a plea the blood. Get violent, the kingdom suffer violence, the violent take it by force. Somebody bleed the blood, 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 bleed the blood. You may never know that your son is about to get in trouble but when you begin to plead the blood the blood set him free the blood stop him in track plead the blood plead the blood plead 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 the blood. Ref, me feel like go down there. No, me feel like go down there. Just lay your hand past somebody's shoulder. Just, just lay your hand past somebody's shoulder. Don't, don't even bother look for see who. Just, just lay your hand past somebody's shoulder and just plead the blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. All whether them want it or not, just plead the blood. They may feel that everything is all right, but plead the blood. Plead the blood. You are watch me online. Somebody sit alongside of you online. Rest your hand on them shoulder. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Plead. I don't know what God I do, but God I broke something. Plead the blood. God I break up something. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Plead. Plead the blood, church of God. Plead that there is power in the blood. Plead the blood. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood. Plead the blood of Jesus. Somebody in your family need that. Somebody in your family need that. I say somebody in your family need that. Somebody in your family need that. God just stop something in somebody's family just because you begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Help me, church of God. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. The blood of Jesus. Call your family name and plead the blood. Call your family name and plead the blood. Show me the blood of Jesus. The every family, the blood of Jesus. Johnson family, the blood of Jesus. McFarlane family, the blood of Jesus. Call your name. Plead the blood. Lord God, I hear your Holy Ghost. Them not there with you tonight, but you are here. Wherever they are, the blood start change it up. Somebody mind I got change. Somebody wanted to go somewhere, but when you start plead the blood, God turn them around. God redirect them. God take them out of trouble. Plead the blood. If, if the blood of Jesus can't fix it, it can't fix. You know, hear me, somebody. I say, if the blood of Jesus can't fix it, it can't fix. If the name of Jesus can't fix it, it can't fix. Every other thing of failure, but your only victory is in the name and the blood of Jesus. 
I want you to listen to me clearly. And see if our backslide are your inner. It's simple. Your deliverance can only be found in the blood of Jesus and through the name of Jesus. No other way. And if you're not a Christian or if you're a backslider, here is the truth. The truth is simply this. Without Christ, you are practically dead. Without Jesus Christ, you're like a walking dead. And some people may not understand what I mean by walking dead. The truth be told is that the only time you're sure about is now. You don't know what will happen in the next minute. You see, Pastor, the Bible says tomorrow is promised to nobody. And when I really look at that and try to figure it out, I come to one conclusion and understand why no promise. Because the truth be told is that whenever 12 midnight come and you think say tomorrow, 12 midnight becomes today. So really tomorrow don't last longer than a millisecond. By the time you set it's into today that's why i'm saying now is the acceptable time because i know you're sure about you're not sure about nothing else yeah backslider run come run come back quickly don't you don't have the time to stay out there you don't have the time is it too much accident i know is the time and the truth be told is that these days accidents are happen without mercy better happen without mercy let me break it down to you my very baby and my very adults my very big people let me take it deeper because the scripture says in revelation chapter 20 or 21 somewhere there he says when the book was open i saw both small and great Handing before God and the books were open and another book no worry about the books worry about the other book because if that other book open are your name no in there you don't have no more comeback for come He gives you now you're under this tent you're online you're under the sound of my voice you're not a Christian or you're a backslider or you're not sure of your relationship with God leave where you are walk up to this altar you don't have the time to look for nobody now Church, I got somebody coming. Who else? Come, come, come to Jesus. Come. Somebody else will come, church of God. Somebody else will come. And this will come for somebody else will come. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? To Jesus I surrender all to, to Him I freely give. I will ever love and trust Him. Somebody singing, I surrender. I surrender. We're waiting on somebody else. Come, I surrender. Come to him. I
bless you. God bless you. Sing it again for somebody. I surrender. I surrender. We still have space. Come to Jesus. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. time if you need to come come now i surrender i surrender all. i surrender all. i surrender all. i Watch this. The best decision you can ever make in your life is this. I'll be one of those preachers that will tell you the only thing that really matter in your life is this decision right here. Because this decision don't just fix today. It fix eternity. That's what it's all about, you know. It's about what happened after now. And it's scary. You know why it's scary? Because none of we don't know what will happen. Every second we move without Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior is like a gambler, a gambler with your life. That's why it's scary. Because the truth is, I can ask you right now, are you ready to surrender to the Lord? And who knows, maybe you'll tell me, say, Pastor, me not ready. But the truth be told, after you tell me you're not ready, you don't know if you're going to get one more chance to hear this again. Me no know neither. And I'm not going to stand here and play God until you say you will get a next chance tomorrow. No, me can't do that. Because me not even know, God forbid, driving from here, go home, whether I will make it. And that's why whatever I have to do, I do that thinking about two things. One, what decision I'm going to make now. And two, how will that decision affect what I don't know. I have to live my life like that. Yes, I want to reach home safe. I have a family that I love. I want to stay alive for a few more years because I have more gospel to preach and more people to reach. That is what I would love. But the truth is, me no know. Me no know. That's why Jesus says, no. Him deal with your based on what is available to you immediately and it is now you're responsible for this moment under the tent tonight now and that's what he will hold you accountable for I give to you Jesus he is your only hope, your only salvation.
salvation. There ain't no other option. No other. I want you to close your eyes, the four of you at the altar. Take a moment. Talk to God about yourself. You know your life. I don't need to know. No prophet now if he tell you about your life. You know. A God you need to tell right now. We sing this one song, this song one time, and then we're gonna pray. Before you die, my friend. Seek the Lord. Lord. Reach out. And touch him now. Believe. Believe his word. Can I ask some mothers of Zion Confess to come? Face your sins to him. Come, my brother, go on this side for me. Join this brother here. Mama, come around here. Come around that side here. Sing it one more time before. Can the church stand as we sing it together again? Seek the Lord. Reach out. And touch. you from the sincerest of your heart at the altar I just want you to just out loud pray this prayer after me say dear Jesus I need you dear Jesus please forgive me please cleanse me please wash me with your blood please save me I thank you. You died for me. You were risen for my victory. Thank you that you heard my prayer. Thank you that you have accepted me as your child. From this moment, I choose to walk with you. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Watch this. Did you mean what you prayed? Did you really believe what you prayed? Do you believe that he has heard you? Do you believe that he has answered your prayer? Then if you believe that he has saved you, lift up your right hand and show that you believe him saved you and you walk out a saved person. Church of God, join with the angels. No? We thank God for saving you. Stretch your hand towards them as pastor come. Pastor will come and talk to you. But stretch your hand towards them, church. Father! We thank you that your words never returned void. We thank you for pulling these four out. For those who are online, if you're, if, if, if you're online and you hear this word and you choose to surrender to the Lord Jesus Christ tonight, just type it in the chat, I need Jesus. And if you type it in the chat and if you pray that prayer we just prayed, somebody is going to reach out to you. Father, over these at the altar and those who are online, those who are under the sound of my voice that just accept 
anointed you as Lord and Savior. We thank you for victory over the enemy. We thank you that your precious blood is been released over their life. That they are forever covered by your precious blood. They are forever covered by your presence, Lord God. Whatever stronghold is in their life, thank you that you have already destroyed it. You have already destroyed it, Father. You have already destroyed it. You have already destroyed it. They will no longer be held up by the enemy's chains. It is already destroyed. We commit them to you. They are yours. And we rejoice with heaven for these four souls. In Jesus' mighty name, put your hands together, church, and shout amen. Don't move, your pastor will speak to you. Praise God, the Lord bless you, and we thank God that he has worked upon your heart, and you come forward. I'm going to ask, the counselors are going to take you over there, and they will further talk with you. So, um... Um, Sister Joy, you're going to take it. Right. Now we start over there. All right. Praise God. We want to thank God for this powerful, powerful night in the Word again and under the anointing. So we thank God for His Word. We thank God for His servant. And so I invite you to come back tomorrow night for the word of the Lord again as his servants powerfully preach the word of God. I trust that you have been enjoying the word. I trust that you have been blessed by the word. I'm going to ask you to stand. Hallelujah. Praise God. We thank you, O oh God, for your word to our hearts again. We thank you, God, for ministering to us with your presence, God. Continue, Lord, to bless us and your servant, God, as he had emptied himself. We pray, God, that you would so refill him for the mission, dear Father, God. And as we meet back tomorrow evening, we pray, God, that you will just move in the mighty way we thank you god for the souls who have been saved from the start of the crusade we continue to commit ourselves into your grace god in jesus name amen number the saving grace of our lord and savior jesus christ the love of god our father the faithful fellowship of the holy spirit comforter rest remain and about us all until jesus come amen I have some more invitation cards because you need to go and invite somebody so come and take the we have a couple more so please um if i did not get any if you, you if you you gave what you had and so on take some more tonight also we have soup for you yes tonight is soup night so we prepared a lovely soup don't leave um, I suppose we have soup for everybody and you're going to go over to the kitchen and get your cup of soup and keep yourself warm. Amen? Alright. God bless you. Mm.